Hi, this is Dave McComb. We're here at Semantic Arts World Headquarters in Fort Collins, Colorado. We've recently released version 7 of GIST, our minimalist upper ontology. If you're not familiar with GIST, we'll have a lot of other videos on what it is, how to use it, etc. But this video is just how to get set up, get started, and, and start experimenting with it. So I'm going to assume you've worked with other ontologies and have an ontology editor of choice. But if you don't, don't worry, we'll have a video on that as well later. So if you've worked with OWL ontologies before, one of the ways you've done that is get all the files on your local computer and just work locally. So we've got a way to do that. If you go to our website, Semantic Arts there, we have a little tab for GIST. And if you scroll down there, you'll see a download GIST 7.0. That's the one we're going to use for right now. We get the usual download. It puts that in a downloads folder. And, whoops, you can just unzip that and put it wherever you'd like. There's, there's several files here. We're going to have other presentations about what they all mean. Um, but this works great. Uh, the only thing that's a little bit tedious, the first time you do it, you open up an OWL file, and if it imports, as many of these do, some of the other files, you'll have to tell the ontology editor where the other file is. But you just do that once, it remembers it. This is the way to go if you're hopping on the airplane and want to work disconnectedly. But let's look at two other ways to use GIST if you do have an internet connection, if you're not on the airplane. Um, let's say you have your ontology editor of choice. We're going to use Protege. A lot of folks use that. It's free and widely available. And Protege has an option where you can say open from an URL. So we're going to we're going to open from this URL. Before I do that, I want to go back here to our just thing. There's a little bit of description here about what all these uh, files are, how they relate to each other. And as you can see, oops, in my inheritance tree there, uh, we've got GIST core, which imports a couple of the ontologies, and they eventually recursively get them all. So we're just going to open GIST core. Here's the URL for it. I'm going to copy that, come back here. And in Protege, if you say open from an URL, you don't, we're going to open it in a new window. We just put the URL in there. We say OK, it goes out to the web and recursively brings in all the direct and indirect imports. We've got all of our classes here. We're going to talk later about what they're all good for. But there's one other scenario, maybe the most likely, and that, and that scenario is good if you just want to scroll around, figure out what's in there, and get an idea. But it's more likely that you're actually working on, whoop, uh, in this case, I was making up my uh, fish ontology. So we just had a fishing expedition and I wanted to build an ontology about all the fish I caught. So I started with the class of fish and then thought, you know, I'd really like to bring in a lot of concepts that are already in gist about things like measurements, how, how long was the fish, how much did it weigh. So I want to go import some gist files in here. So I'll click on the direct import tab. Again, I can go get my ontology straight off the web go out there and again we're going to cut and paste and this this time I happen to know that just magnitude is where we get height and width and you know all those kinds of things so we just put that in here and it imports that we now we don't have all of gist we've just got magnitude unit which is unit of measure in the top level which we'll talk about later it has added a fair few classes, but not very many axioms yet. These are mostly what all these things are disjoint with. This gives you a great place to get started. You can start making your definition of, of fish based on a lot of these other things that are, that are hopefully well understood and well shared, at least after we have a few more of these videos. Um, that's about it. That should get you started. And like I say, we're going to have a lot more. Uh, where do you go from here?